Hi, and welcome to Watercolors for Kids, a special series I'm doing to help teach your kids how to get started with watercolors. Today, we're gonna be painting a, what are we painting today, Kenzie? A Pokemon ball. Yeah, so I'm gonna walk you guys through all the steps you need to follow to paint a Pokemon from start to finish. All right, let's get started. All right, so it's time to get started. So first things first, we're gonna draw the Pokemon ball. So we're gonna start with a circle. So I'm gonna show you what size to make the circle and you can copy me. So we're gonna make this guy about this big. And you wanna get it as round as you can. You can even use a cuff if you wanna make it perfect. But that's about the size you wanna do. And make sure you're drawing nice and light. Then we're gonna to wanna to draw another circle right in the center. So this circle is gonna be about this big. Draw it nice and light. And this circle has two lines coming off the side of it. Great, and then we're gonna draw another circle inside this circle. Inside the baby. <laughs> yeah, and then another circle inside that. All right. All right, so now we can get started. So we're gonna start out with red paint. So you're gonna wanna get your brush out I'm using this angled brush. You can use pretty much any brush you have around. A medium sized brush is what you want. So, Mackenzie has this nice medium sized brush right here. It's gonna work great for getting those details. It's not too big, not too small. So the way I like to paint with watercolors is to put clear water down first. So we're gonna start with some clear water all through the top of the Pokemon ball. Fill it all in just like this till there's no more spots left. And you don't need a lot of water, just a little bit of water. And then what we're gonna do is grab our red. You wanna make sure your watercolors are nice and wet when you work with them. Kenzie's palette is gonna be a pan, called a pan palette. And that just means that she has little pans of color all throughout and you get it nice and wet before you can lay it down. So I'll start with mine. We just drop the color into where we have the water and it's going to start to move around. And if parts of it dry too fast, you just put some more water in, no big deal. How's it going there, Kenzie? Good job. Good. <laughs> All right, so if you're finding that it's going quite light, you just wanna make sure that you're smushing the color a little bit more. So you smush your brush around. Yeah, just like that. And fill it all in. Make it as dark or as light as you want it. All done. Perfect. So now we're gonna do the lower half. Because we can't do the black, because the black would run right into the red, we're gonna let that dry while we work on the lower half. So the lower half is white, but because you can't see white, we're actually gonna make it a light blue. So whatever blue you have in your set of watercolors is perfectly fine. Just pick the lighter of the blues. So in Mackenzie's case, this would be the lighter blue. And for the blue, we're gonna do the same thing as the red. We're gonna fill in the whole bottom part. 
And then we're gonna take our light blue. I have a very light teal in my palette. And we're just gonna drop it along the bottom. So not having a lot of color, just a little bit. We're not filling in the whole thing like we did with the red because it is supposed to be white. So that's all you're wanting to do for the bottom. Yeah, just like that. Mm. Looks good. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some splatters on it. Do you like doing splatters? Yes. All right. So the way we do splatters is we get a bigger brush. I like to use a flat brush like this. Mackenzie, why don't you use one of your flat brushes? Let's see what you have here. I think we have, I think this is your smallest flat brush. We're gonna use this brush. Where do we put this one? Oh, you can just set that one back in your tray. So you take your brush and we're gonna take some red and we're gonna try and get the splatters, the red splatters near the top, not near the bottom. So sometimes it takes a little practice to get good at splatters. I like to use one hand. Sometimes I find with kids using two hands can be helpful. So we just add some little splatters all around. So in order to get the paint to let go, you wanna make sure you have quite a bit on your brush and then you hit it with the brush just sideways like that and then you hit it quite hard. Yeah. And hit it close to the where you, you want your brush to be close. To, yeah, just like that and that's good. That's how you do splatters with watercolor. So as you get better at it, you're gonna get more control over where those splatters go. So now you gotta rinse off your brush. And we're gonna do some blue splatters next. So I'm gonna do some light blue along the bottom. So make sure you rinse out your brush really good because that red is really strong. And once you've rinsed it off, you can put it in the blue. Put some blue on your brush. I got some blue on mine. And then we can add some more to the bottom. fun to add lots. And put them right on the bottom. Yeah, see how they blend in where you have water? That looks great. So now what we're gonna do is clean your brush again. And we're gonna let it dry for now. So we can set our brushes aside on our paper towels and we're gonna let it dry for a few minutes and when we come back, we'll finish it up. All right, so the painting's all dry when we touch it. You gotta give it the touch test, Kenzie. See, does it feel dry? Yes. Perfect. So now we're ready to do the black. So we're gonna start with a smaller brush. So if you have a smaller brush with your watercolors, one like that is great. So um, you're gonna wanna make sure, for this one we're not doing water first, we're gonna go straight to the black because you're wanting your black to be nice and strong. And when I say nice and strong, I mean nice and dark. So we're gonna go straight to putting the black down on the page. So this belt, as well as this circle, is all in black, right, Kenzie? Mm -hmm. You know more about Pokemon than I do. Yeah. All right, so get your black nice and wet. You wanna add quite a bit of water to get it nice and black. Let me help you out with a bigger brush. And then you smush the brush around in the watercolor. Smush is a very technical term. All right, so I'll smush my brush around. And then we wanna just follow those lines we had previously drawn. So we're just coloring in very carefully, coloring in. Like this. Yep. And you just wanna fill in all the spots that you drew with pencil. Just like that, that's about how dark you wanna have it. Yeah, that's right. Like that. tip of the brush to make sure you get that fine detail. And then we gotta go around the circle now, right? Mm -hmm. And then the middle dot in the middle. That's black too? Good thing mm -hmm. I have you here, I wouldn't have remembered that. You really like Pokemon, right? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Pokemon? Me too. Yeah? Ah, 
All right. So that's it. What do you think? Mm, I love yours and I love mine. Yeah. They're both a little different, but I think that's okay. That's what makes watercolor so unique is that they all turn out different, but I think they're all beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for joining us today. Be sure to hit subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos just like this one. Have a great day. Say bye, Kenzie. Bye.